There are four marinas in the Pacific side. Two of them located at Causeway, close to Panama City. Another one located 40 kilometers west. Fourth one at Isla Pedro Gonzalez. This is Archipelago de las Perlas. I'm sure nobody used this marina after crossing canal, but anyway, I have to say a few words about this location. Also, there are two anchorages close to Causeway and one, I would say, marina, but you can stay on a mooring buoys only. So guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today, I will tell you where to stay in a Pacific side. After crossing Panama Canal, you have no much choice where to stay in the Pacific. A few marinas, but some of them are very expensive, some of them are really busy. So, let's find out. After crossing Panama Canal, you pass Las Americas Bridge. You will get to Balboa Club. Is first possibility you can stay after Panama Canal crossing. Second place is a Marina La Playita. Next possibility is Anchorage close to Marina La Playita. It is a quite good location but a little bit rolly because of traffic in uh, Panama Canal. If you turn around the island at the end of Causeway you will get to Flamenca Marina. And if you continue go straight there is an anchorage, La Brisa. It is the biggest anchorage in the area. As I said before, the first possibility to stay is Balboa Yacht Club. After passing the bridge, you turn port side and try to find empty buoy or use a VHF radio to connect to Balboa Yacht Club. Sometimes it's a quite difficult, sometimes they answer uh, quite well. I would recommend you to arrange the mooring in advance and after you come you can take any free buoy and after uh, on a VHF you can communicate and they will come and find you proper location. Palboya Club has a good wind protection, big traffic around, it is a really rolly place to stay. Before you arrive into the anchorage, you need to speak with the marineros. They will come with a lancha and assist you because all the buoys at the anchorage are different. At one place you need to use your line and another place you need to put a line of a buoy to your bow cleats. So uh, when you arrive in, marineros is waiting for you and navigate you to your location and assist with uh, all the processes. We had to change our location because the boats at the back of our boat almost touch our stern. And I asked marineros to change our location to another one. And they put our boat uh, in the middle of anchorage. Uh, so from my point of view, uh, my new location is much better than location outside. First of all, traffic outside, so some strangers passing through. Another reason our boat all the time under visual control of uh, somebody in marina. During the day it's not only rolly because of traffic in the canal but also very noisy because uh, of air stripes somewhere around. Yak club, yak club, yak club. Por favor queremos lancha a barca mushu. Gracias, gracias.
guys from Marina came with the dive equipment to check condition of mooring buoy. All the Marina with the buoys have to do it because it is a big risk to break a line and your boat adrift. Let's look closer to Balboa Yacht Club. It is a big pontoon. At the end of pontoon, petrol station. You can buy diesel and gasoline. You need to come, but you need to speak uh, with them on the radio in advance because uh, there are many boats for refueling. On the right side from pontoon on this picture, buoys for a commercial transport. On the left side, private boats Anchorage. There are many boats, owners keep here uh, permanently. Sometimes people live on their vessels. So let's summarize Balboa Yacht Club. Overall score 3. Why I put so low mark? First of all, huge traffic around. So it means very early anchorage. On my point of view, it is not 100% safe because uh, many boats from outside, fishermen, locals, tourists are around. When there is a big traffic, it means somebody could pass and uh, take something. I never heard any single issue with that, but I prefer to keep an eye and use uh, common sense and basic tourist rules. So if it is a big traffic, it means something could happen. Also, I cannot say this uh, cheap marina because $45 a day for monohull, I think it's a quite expensive advantages. It is a first stop after you pass in Panama Canal. If you tire it from uh, processes, from uh, logs, from everything in Panama Canal, it is a good possibility to stay as fast as possible. Also, it is absolutely no facilities ashore. Uh, they said it is a restaurant, but uh, all the time I pass it, a restaurant was closed. When you try to find a possibility for a garbage disposal, you need to pass through office building and uh, marina all the time closed. From my point of view, client service in this marina in Balboa Club is not very good. If you go straight a few miles, you will come to Marina La Plata. It's a first marina on your way at the end of Causeway. Access to the marina is very easy. You just come, pass through wave breaker and you will see two pontons. Location is extremely good. You will be in the middle of all facilities, restaurants, bars, uh, services, uh, whatever safety it's very safe if you want to eat there are plenty of restaurants around so big variety of food you can come and find everything you like if you need provisioning uh, anyway you have to go to the city to big supermarket because you can find one small supermarket at the end of causeway but it is a quite basic stuff if you want to buy beer of course you can do it but uh, if you want big provisioning for a quite long period of time or go to archipelago de las perlas definitely you need to go in a city and uh, buy food there transportation very easy uber and uh, other taxi wind protection five and wave protection for sometimes waves come inside the marina marina la playita has a two piers both of them are for a pleasure craft third one mostly for a ferries if you live in panama and you have your own jet ski you can use a slipway and uh, deliver your boat straight to the water because of big tides in panama city marina builds with a finger pontons so the boat goes up and goes down with a ponton on a fingers stick from the water. There is a 16 arm connector, blue one, European one, and yellow one. It is an American standard 110 volts. For this you need just special cable on one side yellow one and another side blue one female. Usually in marinas you can find big variety of different boats and different ages here in marina mostly new boats or maybe not brand new but quite fresh mostly you can see power boats but also big amount of sailing boats location of marina la playita is a quite good but sometimes swell 
came to the marina and you can see uh, now our boat is moving left and right so you need to keep an eye and put spring lines and all the lines to prevent uh, hitting the pontoon by your boat because in Panama City big tides uh, could be up to seven meters but usually about five to six when water goes down it's even difficult to climb with this big angle to go out now let's look a little bit closer to the laundry there are three washing machines it costs two US dollar per watt and two drives by the way to use this facility you need to go to marina and change your money to 25 cents uh, coins because otherwise you will not be able to put that money in this machine and will not be able to use it in this marina you can buy only diesel you have to call to the marina or better come to marina and arrange the time you come with your boat to dinghy ponton they will pass you big holes and uh, start the machine this marina has a small hotel if you tire it from a long trip you can uh, rent a room and spend time over there before coming to marina you need to arrange an appointment and before you come few minutes before you call to marinera on vhf radio they will go to ponton and show you your birth on a port side just after entrance it is a commercial ponton and usually guests use uh, end of ponton a or ponton b or front side of ponton a which is a close to the entrance marina la playita overall score four on my point of view it is the best option if you want to stay close to panama city on a causeway because it is a relatively cheap uh, if you compare to marina flamenca and more convenient and more friendly of course they have a disadvantages they never answer phone or emails so the best option if you come by dinghy and uh, speak personally uh, marina has a small mini market but variety of uh, goods you can purchase is uh, extremely small and uh, this mini market extremely expensive if you want to buy beer you could expect something cheaper than restaurant price if you continue go straight and turn around isla flamenca you will come just in front of Marina Flamenca. Entrance I would put five because it's extremely easy. Big area and you can wait for Marinero in a big area and calm area. Infrastructure inside Marina is good. Safety, yes, definitely safe. If you want to buy food and go to restaurant, there are a big variety of different restaurants, fish restaurants, ceviche restaurants and whatever, anything you want. Provisioning, as I said before, it's quite tricky in a causeway. You have to go to Panama City, to big supermarket and to buy food. Repairs, big variety of different services. You will not have any problem, but maybe only price could be problem because uh, here in the Flamenca, everything quite expensive. Wind and wave protection, five. So it is a very protected area and disadvantage it is the most expensive marina in the panama city before you come to marina you call marineros on the radio and they have to go out and meet you on a dinghy but if they have other boat you will stay and wait until they come they put more attention to ferries and help ferries a commercial transport firstly we were waiting for birth in about one and a half hour Marina Flamenca is the biggest marina in the Pacific side. Has a finger pontons as well because of tides. If you come to Marina on port side on the left, you can find the petrol station with uh, diesel and gasoline. By the way, do you know why the name of it is a finger pontons? It's because of poles, which is a stick from the water and floating concrete goes up and down on these poles so it looks like uh, fingers so that's why it is a uh, finger pontons 
if you go out you go straight to the area with the restaurants just in front of ferry terminal the biggest traffic maker in marina flamenca is a ferries and you can come to ferry terminal buy tickets and go to any popular touristic destinations but i would say it is a not marina it is an infrastructural object with a facility to keep your boat for a long term in this marina i like how to dispose your garbage in a ponton there are many garbage bin you just go and put uh, your garbage in it you don't need to go somewhere far you just go at the end of your finger ponton and throw everything away immediately if you walk around the marina you will see a big parking lot and if you come inside you can find a duty-free shop and a ferry terminal on the side you can find a boat yard i heard it is a good possibility to repair everything under the water line but i think it's quite expensive Let's look a little bit deeper how Marina Flamenco made. Just in front of entrance on your starboard side, you will see pontons where uh, owners keep their boats. If you go a little bit more far, you will see smaller boats and uh, some commercial transport, some ferries, which stay here. If you look on the left side, on your port side after the entrance, you will see guests' pontoon and pontons for a big super yacht. And if you go further on your port side, on the left, it is an area for a boat for day trips and modern fishing boats. Overall score 3. And now I try to explain you why. Uh, mostly because it is the most expensive marina in the Pacific side. If you want to stay one, two, three days, the price you have to pay will be very high. It is a big traffic inside marina and uh, marineros usually very busy. They will not answer VHF radio, but in case if you come in evening, you could stay more than one hour to wait until marineros will be free to put you in your purse. So all these points made very big impact on my overall score. So it is a 3. After the marinas in Panama City, let's go to the anchorages and uh, check where it's possible to stay for free or almost for free. The first anchorage after you pass in Panama Canal is a La Playita anchorage. It is a simple access to the anchorage, you can come even in the night, put an anchor and wait until next morning to see where did you stay. Location, perfect, you go straight to Causeway, infrastructure, you can use infrastructure of Marina with some limitations. If you want to go to restaurant, a lot of restaurants around. It is quite tricky to have food in a causeway. You need to go to Panama City to big supermarket. Taxi, I put five because you go to causeway, take a taxi or uh, grab your Uber. Wind protection, five. If wind go from the south, yes, you could have a trouble, but you can go to the Labrisa Anchorage, which is protected from south wind. And the wave protection, horrible. Because of traffic, because of ferries, because of everything, all the vessels made horrible, huge waves, and it is extremely rolly. Now, let's go, and I will tell you about Anchorage La Playita, more in details.
get a shore, you can use a dinghy ponton in Marina La Playita. It costs you about $50 a week and you can use some infrastructure of Marina. Dinghy ponton quite old, but it has a rail, you can lock your dinghy and uh, after you get to the big area in front of Marina office. So let's summarize Anchorage La Playita. I would say it is the best anchorage if you stay with the wind from a north, northwest, northeast. Because if the wind comes from south, you could have a trouble, you need to go to the different anchorage. You could have a perfect land access, but only with uh, some money you have to pay weekly. By the way, every week started from Monday and finish on Sunday. So if you come on a midweek, you have to pay until end of this week. It is a no ability to fill gasoline for your dinghy, unfortunately, but you can fill diesel for your boat. It is a safe anchorage. You can use a garbage disposal facility. You cannot use a laundry of marina because it is reserved only for a marina visitors. Uh, this anchorage crazy really because of traffic in Panama Canal and ferries which go from marina to touristic destinations. It is a absolutely crazy really, but uh, during the night it's more or less comfortable. Now let's go to the anchorage La Brisa. It is on opposite side of La Playita anchorage. It has a good protection from a south wind, southeast, southwest, but absolutely horrible protection from uh, northern wind directions. It is a quite crowded area with a depth from four meters to seven meters at low tide hundreds of boats stay on a mooring buoys, on anchors, whatever, and you have to be very careful to find the proper location, because uh, if you put your anchor and uh, sea around on a mooring buoys, you could have a trouble if the wind direction will be changed. It has uh, land access, it's for free, and you can go to the Ironawal base, so this area more or less uh, under protection of uh, Iron Aval. I put safety tree because uh, personally me, I don't trust big areas with a big traffic of different boats. I not feel myself safe. If you need to buy provisioning, you have to go to the supermarket at Panama City. If you want to go to a restaurant, just go ashore and uh, choose whatever you want. It has a good wind and wave protection just in case of south wind. Otherwise, it could be extremely rolly and sometimes uh, conditions could be so bad you have to change your location to opposite side to the anchorage La Playita. Dinghy dock at La Brisa Anchorage is not uh, well maintained. Many boats use it for delivery some goods and loading and loading. Uh, so you need to put your dinghy somewhere behind and uh, if tides goes up your dinghy could stuck between some poles. So uh, I don't like this dinghy dock but uh, if you want to stay in a Panama City absolutely for free you have no option it is only anchorage where you have not to pay for uh, land access another one marina at the pacific side is a vista mar marina it is a quite remote marina about 40 nautical miles away from panama city full day trip to this marina but it is the cheapest marina in the area all infrastructure inside marina extremely good if you want to go to panama city you have to spend one and a half hour more or less uh, safety yes it's absolutely safe uh, there are some restaurants around so you can go and uh, have food if you need to buy some provisioning it's possible to take taxi and go around so 10 minutes and you will get everything you need transport it is a quite tricky story because it's a quite difficult to find the taxi if you need it right now right here but it's possible to 
to book it in Marina and you will go to Panama City for example it will cost you about 100 US but otherwise you can use a public transport it's uh, much cheaper but you need to find a schedule of it wind protection i cannot say it is absolutely perfect it is a some wind in marina but it's not affect your boat uh, really much waves protection is excellent <laughs> Cesar, thank you very much for uh, so great welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Welcome to Panama, welcome to my country, welcome to my marina, Vista Mar in Panama. I would like to show you approach of marioneros. When I come, I even not touch any single line. Everything was made by marineros. They put a lines, uh, spring lines. We had to have a little bit different angle of a line and they unscrew the cleat on ponton and move it on the side to keep my boat in a better position. Now let's go around marina and I will show you how it's made. Vamos a dar candela la noche entera. Llega y dice: Baila, baila, baila. Sacude la cadera, los problemas olvidan bailando. Baila, baila, baila. Dale vida a tu cuerpo, tu organismo mejora bailando. Baila, baila, baila. Movimiento en equilibrio, tu cerebro lo logra bailando. Baila, baila, baila. Dale vida a tu cuerpo, mami, que estás esperando. ¿Cómo se mueve? Mira la que bella. No necesita tomarse otra botella Está en una sola bailando mi ritmo Sabe que no es más de lo mismo Como se mueve mira la que bella No necesita tomarse otra botella Está en una sola bailando mi ritmo Sabe que no es más de lo mismo Descarga la energía Ale Que no hace daño Y baila en esta noche como no lo has hecho en muchos años No se trata de saber los mejores pasos there is a laundry in marina you can uh, wash your stuff it is a little bit strange because you need to go to reception ask come and manually switch it on there is mini market in marina with the basic stuff but if you need something urgently you can go and buy it's a small boulangerie here you can buy some cakes and of course if you need you can buy beer I like this location very much because of huge beaches around. So if you go on a low tide, uh, the beach size is amazing. It's more than 100 meters. On a high tide, fishermen from a local village come. You could even buy a fresh fish from them. Marina has small boat yard with a good repairman facilities. And of course, you can find all the services like engine services, generators, rigging, and everything you need you can ask dog master Cesar and he will organize everything for you 
if you want to sail somewhere around and you have a lot of stuff and of course you have a lot of stuff in your boat you can rent some small compartment and keep your extra stuff here if you have a plan to return back marina has a small gym it is a quite basic stuff in it but anyway if you have a lack of physical activity you can load your muscles with uh, some equipment there is an area for books exchange some table games but i'm not sure it is a convenient area to spend time here let's summarize marina vista mar i would put five to this marina but honestly location uh, of this marina is not perfect so you need to spend more than one hour to get to panama city of course maybe if you don't need to go somewhere and you are looking for uh, some stops between panama city and uh, french polynesia it is definitely good place to stay and maybe to make some repairs and just to relax before long trip but if you are looking for uh, some location and you need to go to panama city often i would not recommend it for you but from another side this marina is the cheapest one so you need to find your balance between the prices and uh, locations in terms of infrastructure uh, inside marina i would say everything is excellent and the last marina in our list is a pearl island marina the location of this marina is a quite strange but if you want to spend your time in a archipelago de las perlas possible it is a not uh, worse option to keep your boat here first of all marina located in a developed island and probably you could spend time in the uh, archipelago de las perlas without any thoughts about safety because uh, you will stay in a marina infrastructure of this marina is nothing here there is a restaurant but it is only for uh, visitors of resort now you can see eastern part of this island if you want to stay in uh, isla perla gonzalez probably you will go to this bay but on opposite side there is a small marina which covered from a pacific ocean with a wave breaker mostly only locals keep their fishing boats here in marina so guys now you know where to stay after you pass in panama canal or if you come from for example north america i hope this video will be useful for you Please don't forget to put like, write a comment and see you next video. Bye bye.